Okay, uh, this is the next project in this project cycle. Uh, this is called, or grading cycle, this project is called Horse Eye. Uh, this is an example of what it looked like. You have the different layers here. You need to make sure, make sure it says Essential Classic. And some things you need to make sure. So click on View. You need to have Step to Point checked. Smart Guides checked. Make sure your rulers, make sure your ad rulers are visible. So you can click Show Rulers. You have to have that selected. Okay. Um, so this is what it looked like. So I'm going to click on, um, go back to Canvas and actually get you start here. So I'm going to actually do the main page. I click on Modules. Now you have this horror size assignment here. I'll click on that. This is the way it's going to look. So you're going to click on this file here and you're going to download that to follow you start with. So they're going to open up this. It's going to look like that. It's fine. Click on Download. It's going to download it here. And then you can go back to Illustrator and click File, Open. Okay. You should be like wherever you put that, maybe in your downloads. So you click on Horse and click Open. And click OK. If that comes up, it's going to continue. I would actually just hit Control Zero and it's going to make it full screen so I can see everything. Okay. So you have these two layers to start with. Okay. So we're going to finish up with having three layers, but we're going to start with having two layers. Okay. So first off, you're going to do is um, turn uh, your guides, so these guides, and you're going to show the guides. So I have three little boxes here. What you're going to do here first is you're going to click on the rectangle tool, and we're going to click on horse layer. So we're going to add that to horse layer. So we'll click on this, it's going to be in your center, and I click and drag out, click and drag. So it's going to line up. So the pink, uh, purple line, pink is purple. It's going to line up with the top line here. And you should have like a little line. So it shows up right uh, like a rectum. So you click off there, creates a rectangle shape. Then you actually click on view, uh, guides, and then make a guide. So it's going to change there. Okay. And now you want to click on the selection tool, the black arrow. So I just deselect that. Click out here and deselected everything. Now I need to click all. Uh, there's actually I need to create two more guides. So we're gonna click inside the ruler, get in the ruler, click and drag down. It's got this little line. I need to go down here to where it says anchor right here. So there's a guide, and I'm gonna create another guide at the bottom of that line where it says path or anchor either one. So I've got these different lines. So I can just click out in the gray area to deselect everything. So now I need to select all of the light blue lines. So again, by selecting things, I just click and drag. Now I've got the top, top two box selected. Now hold down the shift key, and I can just click and drag over these three and have those three selected. Now I have just one box here, and I need to select. So hold down the shift key again, click and drag over it, and it's got that fourth box selected. Now what I'm going to do is click on a new layer here, and title, so I'll double click on layer three, title guides. Okay, like in, um, yeah, enter. And then this little blue square here, I just click and drag that to guides. And it's, it's gonna be a, like a green color. Your might be a different color. So if it's a different color, you can actually just click on, double click on this empty area next to guides. And then you can actually change the color on any one of these layers. You can change to whatever color you want to. If I'm, uh, mine's a green, and um, you can change to whatever color. The color really doesn't matter. It helps you color code things and know which is on which layer. That's what it's for, okay? But mine is red, green, and blue, okay? But again, you can choose whatever you want, okay? So we're um, going to, now we're gonna actually click on Horse Layer, and I'm gonna click on this little circle next to it, okay? That selects everything that's on the Horse Layer. All this other, all these other thick black lines are selected now. So that's the only thing that's selected is on this layer, which everything is the horse is on here. So I need to do something. I need to change the opacity up here to 30%. And choose enter, and it's going to be a gray. I want it to be a template, so it's got a gray area. And then you need to lock the layer. So click on this uh, empty area right here, and it locks it. So that way I can't change that layer. I can't do anything with the layer. Now I need to actually, my guys are so on. So my guys need to be locked as well. So the bottom two layers need to be locked. 
and then I click back on highlight the draw here layer and turn them back on. So now I have only the eyelid and um, the eyebrow. Okay. So now I need to create all the things that are gray. So I'm actually first going to start with the line segment tool. Uh, it's right here. Click on this. It might just say line segment tool. Okay. I'm going to hold down the alt key and scroll to like, that's the way, easiest way to zoom. I need to be able to see that full line there. So I'm going to click on the anchor point right here. And you say anchor, click and drag it down, straight down to where it says anchor point right here. And you let go. Now these lines, uh, they need to be rounded. If they're not rounded, so you click on the word stroke. And up here, you have some actions that look caps. So you can square it off, you can round it, or this is another square off. But you want to make sure it's rounded here, OK? So it probably is default, but I'm going to make sure it's, it's rounded. Now we're in, next time, we're going to go to the arc tool. So click inside here, where it says anchor here. Anchor, and I want you to drag it out to where like it's kind of like that red line matches the middle of the gray line. OK? That looks good. OK? Now we're going to do another one. So I'm going to click on the bottom here where it says anchor and click on another one. So again, the red line will match up the middle of the gray line. So it's not perfect, but it's coming close. Okay. Now we're going to use this, the scissor tool. Okay. So I want to, we had that first line selected and click on the scissor. It looks like a scissor. It might be under your eraser tool. You might see the eraser tool. Click on drag that down and click in Hold it down to grab the scissor tool. So I'm going to hold my Alt key and scroll the wheel on the mouse to zoom in. So where this red line, see the red line is popping up? I want to make sure it goes over to the intersection right here. Now I have this top layer. I can zoom out and have just the top part of it selected. Now I hit the backspace key once and now hit twice and deletes everything there. Okay. Now I'll select the selection tool again. I can select this black layer here uh, that's like long and I click on the scissors tool again and I'm going to click on where this, see this line that's coming up right here, where that matches up and say intersection there. So now I have this part, just uh, the extension of the line there. So then I can click on backspace once and backspace twice and delete it. Okay. Now I click on the selection tool again. Click on this top one. Now hold the shift key down. Now grab the bottom one with this layer here. And I right click and say join. Now those two layers, I can double click out here and deselect it. Now if I click on top, both of those are going to be selected. That's what we're going to do. There was a few different ones here. Now I'm going to zoom alt and scroll so I can zoom out to see this other little like uh, swirl here. I'm going to start with actually using the arc tool. So I need to click on the anchor point and I'm going to drag out to click and drag, of course, to where, uh, again, the red line is in the middle of the gray line. So it looks about, it needs to match this blue uh, guideline. That's why I put it there, but the red line, it should be the, so you don't want it to be out here and you don't want it to be in here. So you want that to be in the middle of the gray line, right about there. Okay. It's not, Maybe it's a little bit off, but that's fine. It's as long as you get it really close to the tracing there. Okay. Now we're going to actually use the spiral tool. So click on the anchor or the arc tool and then grab the spiral tool. Okay. This one you're going to click once. So it should say 11.1209. Okay. It really doesn't matter. So as long as you have some kind of radius there. Okay. And the DK, this is really important. Make sure you DK. I sit to 77, 77% and make sure the, the segments, I think it's default to use 10 and make sure it's changing up to six segments. And you need to make sure this left arrow is the, the left spiral selected and choose. Okay. It's going to give you a little small thing, but what you're going to do is actually click on the selection tool. It's going to give you a, a bounding box and I'm going to click not here where it's got the, the two sided arrow just a little bit outside so it changes to like a curved to shaped arrow. Now I hold down the shift key and I click and drag and I rotate that around. It's going to be rotated around to perfectly nine degrees. Now I let go of my mouse first and then my shift key second. Okay. Now I just drag that 
click on the line and drag that down. Okay, so somewhere over here, it doesn't really matter too much. So now you can actually, these four sides here, not the corners, but just four sides here, I'm gonna make sure that it matches them. So it needs to go to that little line there. This thing, actually I can scroll over a little bit. I can click the arrow and scroll over so I can see everything. So this line, the smart guides are on, so it's going to show you where that should line up with a purple line. Again, this one is doing the same thing, so it lines up in the purple line. And then this one, the top box, will line up at the, actually the middle, and it's just that the purple line says intersect. If it didn't say intersect, it's going to be a, like a line. It's like if I change that and I go over here, then it should have like a line. See the purple line? The red line changes to purple. And I'll let go. So that should match up exactly with your spiral. Now I need to hold the shift key down, and that's like the other arc here. And I right click, and now I can choose join. So it's all joined now. So if I deselect, I click out here in the white area, it's deselected. Now I click on the arc right here, and everything is selected. I selected, that's why I see a bounding box right here. Okay. The last thing we're doing, I have the Alt key, scroll out, scroll in again. So we need to actually get the eyeball. Okay. So we're going to actually use the uh, click on the drag, click and hold this down. Now go around to Polar Grid tool. Now what you do is you go to the center. You're going to click and drag out. It might start with, I'm clicking the up arrow, and it's going to add number of circles. And the down arrow will decrease circles, but I want three. There's three lines, okay? While I'm still holding my mouse, I click on two buttons with my left hand. I'll hold the shift key down, and then I'll also hold down the alt key. It's going to draw from the center there. So I'm two fingers or one finger is holding a shift and alt and my left hand, and then I'm holding down my alt, holding down my mouse. So get that to actually, and I can just go and actually just matches up right here with a little line, so that might makes the middle of all those gray lines. So I let go of my mouse first, and then I let go of my left hand. Okay, so that's perfectly line up right. So I need to trim off the rest of his uh, little eye that's like. Oh, I'm sorry, I need to select both things. So select this layer and then select the eye clone a shift key that adds to my selection. And then click on the eyeball, the eyelid, I guess. Now, I'm sorry, I need to select both things. Make sure and select both things. Scissor tool, click the intersection here. And then you come around to uh, grab this where the intersect is there, right there. And it's really precise. Might take a minute and click there. So now I've got just the top of that little circle selected. Now hit backspace once and delete half of it. Now backspace again and delete the other half of it. Okay. Now I can hit Control and Zero, and it's uh, you know it's finished there. So I have my horse layer with locked guidelines that you know 30%. You know. And the guidelines, all the blue lines are just locked again. And the draw here layer, that's where I've drawn and I've covered over the tracing there and have um, everything like that. Okay. So then you can actually click on shift. We're finished. You can click on save as. And now it's already saved as horse. And so you can click on save. Uh, I'd probably recommend putting in your ID folder and that comes up. Click OK. Yes. And OK. Then I can go back to my canvas assignment. That's uh, well, I'll close this for a minute. In the canvas assignment, then I click on. I'm um, oh, sorry, I need to go to my student view. Student view, and I click start assignment. Now I click upload and choose. And then I go back to my horse assignment, where you saved it in your ID folder. I'm not sure, ID folder or downloads by horse. Then you click um, well, horse here. So then you click open. And that should be up there. And you click submit. And then it submits. Okay. And that should be it. Thanks for watching.